Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Diamond Select Toys, The Muppets, Sam the Eagle, and Rizzo the Rat. I gotta give a huge shout out to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. And as you can see, it comes in that typical Diamond Select style packaging. But let's go ahead and get Sam the Eagle and Rizzo the Rat out of the package. First item out of the box, we get a little stand for Rizzo, and it's it's literally a little circle with the little peg for the feet. The one accessory that we get is this podium. The logo on there is tampoed on really well. It's painted really nicely, uh, sculpted very cleanly. Um, it's just a really nicely done podium. It's got the wood texture on there, uh, looking nice. Got some shelves so you could put stuff in there. Don't know what you'd put in there, but I'm sure you got some other accessories and stuff you could hide in there. But a really nice podium. It is a bummer that we didn't get the other accessories shown on the package, like the sign and the, uh, I want to call it a music box, but I can't I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But uh, And then there's also a spotlight. So there's a couple accessories shown on the package that we did not get. I wish we would have got them along with this podium. Here we have an up-close look at Rizzo the Rat, and it looks like Rizzo the Rat. It's awesome. I love the paintwork, the sculpt work. He's got his little hat sideways on the back. It does say, uh, if we could get it to focus here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. The Ratty Duke Show. A lot of sculpt work, a lot of paintwork. Like, look at all that. Even his hands and the cuffs all painted nicely. Jacket's really clean looking. Got his little toenails or toes or whatever those are peeking out. I think they're nails. Yeah, toenails are painted. His rat tail is all in that brown. But they did a really good job on this guy. So he's like a little, little bit of little guy. He's little. But they added all that detail and paint work, sculpt work. Does his hair. No. <laughs> I was like, does his hair untwist? But it does not. But this, this, this is awesome. For Rizzo's articulation, he actually has a lot more than you would expect. So his head can move very well. Look at that. Range of motion and attitude. Like he can look up that far. He can look down that far. Looking, I mean, that that impressed the heck out of me. But his arms, on a little disc hinge, do full 360. You know, no elbow bends or anything. We get wrist rotation. We get waist swivel. It's a little tight there, but yeah, you get waist swivel. We get leg movement. We also get tail articulation. Like, that's a <laughs> that's a good amount of articulation for what this figure is. Now we have an up-close look at Sam the Eagle, and uh, he, looks, he looks so stern with those eyebrows, or unibrows, should I say. Uh, they painted inside the mouth, got the tongue painted... I guess that's tongue. No, that's just inside his mouth painted like a reddish hue. You can see it there. I love the dry brushing throughout his little <laughs> his hair. He's just a bald guy with the hair going around the back. That is, I mean, he's an eagle. He's a bald eagle, I guess. But uh, it, it looks really cool. And I love this sculpt work throughout and the dry brushing to pull out that sculpt. He's got that one finger pointing. Looking really nice. You got the tail, got his feet sculpted and painted. They didn't hold back. And one thing with holding this figure, this piece is like solid. He has some weight to him. So, you know, Sam the Eagle, definitely, definitely a hefty, hefty eagle and looks really good. Diving into articulation for Sam, his head is on like a disc. You can sort of see it. So he can, he can look down that far. He can look up that far. Uh, he can look full. 360 around and uh yeah he could no really it would have been better with the ball joint uh, i did unplug his tail some of his stuff like his arms and stuff can unplug which is nice uh but his arms can go up quite a bit quite a bit now you see this area right here on both arms i thought they would bend but they don't i don't know if they're supposed to I'm not sure, but I tried heating this one up and tried forcing it, but it feels like it's fused underneath there on both of them. So they don't really get any elbow bend, which, I mean, it's all right because he's still pointing and stuff like that. 
I just don't know if this was just be how, how it designed to get that nice overlap of the feathers or what the design was right here. If anybody's got this set, let me know if you got the elbow to bend. Now his legs, he has no, no ab crunch, no waist swivel, but his legs can kick forward so he could do like a full, almost like a full set. Why is this one not? There we go. You can get him to sit on his butt. His legs can do the full Van Dam, which is pretty awesome. Uh, oh, his tail does move up and down and rotate. He does have a actual swivel at the ankle, ankle bend, and pivot. So Sam the Eagle has a good amount of articulation along with Rizzo. When you see these, you wouldn't think that they'd have all that articulation. And uh, one thing that Diamond is really good at, and that's just, in my opinion, they're really good at capturing the Muppets. Um, I want to get the Electric Mayhem because, you know, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem is, like, some of my favorite Muppets. And uh, I, I hope to get that set because that'd be awesome on a shelf. But there's so many Muppet characters that are out there that Diamond's done that look amazing. So, yeah, yeah, they did a really good job with the Eagle. When it comes to Sam the Eagle and Rizzo the Rat, this set is awesome. It's really well sculpted. The heft to Sam surprised the heck out of me. Heck, the articulation surprised me. I wish I knew that if Sam's elbows were supposed to bend or not. But either way, there's a lot more articulation than I was expected with these types of figures. The sculpt work, paint work is, is top notch. When it comes to Diamond Select in the Muppet series... They have some of the best Muppet figures out there. So if you're a Muppets fan, make sure you guys are checking them out because these are going to have some great shelf presence and they capture the sculpt, the paintwork to the T. Like they are beautiful pieces. And uh, again, I just wish this one came with those accessories that were shown on the box because I could use them with these figures or other figures that I collect. But uh, besides the, that, honestly, this set's phenomenal. I enjoy this set. It, it puts a smile on my face because the Muppets. I'm a huge Jim Henson fan, and I really hope that I get a hold of uh, the, the Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem because that would be a heck of a set on a shelf to have that whole band and everything with Animal Behind the Drums. Like it, it's, it's phenomenal. They, are, they actually made those figures, so definitely go check them out. But, but that sums up my unboxing and review of Diamond Select Toys, The Muppets, Sam the Eagle, and Rizzo the Rat. If you guys are enjoying my content, go ahead and hit that like button. New to my channel, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel evolve and grow. Hit the silver bell notification if you want to know when I post a new video. And make sure you guys go show some love to Diamond Select. All their information is down below. Stay in the know with Diamond Select with all that info down below and all their links to their channels and websites and all that good stuff but most importantly i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting have a beautiful day